Hello everybody, it's John here, and it's about April the 4th, I believe, of 22. Uh, I've always been told, or read, that uh, when it comes to moving beehives, you need to go at least uh, less than three feet or more than three miles. And before I've done that, and of course that's worked successfully, uh, but this year I've got something a little different going on here in my own front yard, and I need to move the beehive 135 feet. Uh, I made the mistake really four years ago of putting a few beehives in my front yard about 50 feet from my front door. And they've never really given us any trouble, but one time uh, I had a hive that got a little uh, nasty, had to, to move it out into the country. This year uh, I decided to uh, build a new bee yard and it's uh, up at the entrance coming into our property a little more. It'll be out of the way of the front yard, grandkids and people. Uh, and it's got a little bit, it will have a little more cover around it so the bees have a better flight path. My problem is this here, uh, the beehive is gonna have to move from this location across to my front drive. And if you can see through there past that stone, that's my new bee yard. And for this 135 feet, I would have to move the hive several times, three feet a day, every other day, uh, down to uh, to the new bee yard. And again, this is right here in my front yard, and it just doesn't look very smart to, to leave the bees uh, flying in and out towards the house and down the drive and where a lot of people gather over here uh, by the old fire zebo. So I believe the best thing for me to do, if I can, is to move it one time. And I've done some research on it, and people say it can be done. So I'm going to try to figure out if that will work. They say you can move a, a beehive a shorter distance, but the best thing to do is uh, close it up for a day or two. Once you've moved it, to uh, put something fairly close, branches, grass, or something in front of the entrance within an inch or so to uh, ma make the bees realize something's changed to their entrance or flight path, uh, and it'll maybe cause them to reorientate reor to their, their new home. This is the new bee yard where the hive is gonna go. I've already got uh, one of my top bars uh, that died out this winter, so I moved it and got it set up and then I also put my two new lands hives in here. Everything is leveled and ready to go for some swarms to be caught here hopefully in the next few weeks. And then I've also got my pad ready for for that top bar hive to set on. I've uh, tried to make this yard a little more private from uh, people. Uh, my goal is to plant some uh, lavender and some Russian sage along the front here. And we've got some more uh, uh, plants and uh, Maximilian sunflowers planted over here. So hopefully everything will grow up a little bit. And then this takes it out of the front yard. And it allows the bees a little bit more privacy. And I installed this fence here to get the bees to fly up and out and over. So I'm hoping it'll be a lot better home for the bees. Okay, last night it got dark. I closed up the entrance, moved the bees up here to their new home. It rained most of the evening uh, and the, most of the day. Uh, it's a little nicer right now. It only got up to about 60 today. And uh, the vents are open underneath. You can really hear the bees roaring in there. Their main entrance was the hole on the left there where I corked it. Uh, I think just to confuse the bees a little bit, I'm going to open the cork on the right hand side. Uh, and you can see that I've got a little black uh, cover down there. That's half of an old beetle barn. So I put it over the whole entrance and the cork at the moment. And it, it hangs out about an inch or so, inch and a half from the hole. I pulled the cork last night about dusk. And it's about 22 hours later here. Uh, it rained a lot of the night and it rained till a little after 12 noon. Uh, so this afternoon, my wife said the bees are flying good. Uh, and here they are, uh, you can tell they're doing their kind of orientation flights, of course. They're doing a little kind of a figure eights. Uh, 
they seem to be knowing uh, where to go. Uh, a lot of bees are flying around. I mean, they're flying all over the place, up in the air around more than they normally do at a hive. Uh, their flight pattern is just not straight out. Uh, but so far, I think this is gonna work. Uh, I'll probably wait another day and I'll pull off the little black cover down there to, that way they have easy flight out access. And things seem to be working so far. Folks, I've got one small hiccup with this here hive move. And it's a couple days later now after I, I opened it up. And uh, the first day they started coming out and flying around, I had about uh, maybe four or 500 bees flying around here. Uh, it's kind of hard to count bees, but I put this uh, uh, gazing ball where the hive used to be and they were flying all around it and there were several of them landing on it. So I decided why not just try to carry them up to the new hive. I carried the gazing ball up, scraped off the bees. All these bees were foraging bees and they had pollen on them and probably nectar. So I dumped them off at the new location, came back and I set the gazing ball out again and I did it a couple more times. And when I was done, there were still probably a couple hundred bees or more just flying around in the air. I decided to just leave it alone and see what happens. And later that night at dusk, I came out and checked and there was just about only 50 bees left. I'm assuming all the rest of them went to the new hive location. And these 50 bees are still staying here. It's two days later and uh, they just won't give it up. Uh, they think this is home and, uh, and they're not gonna change. Uh, their minds. Uh, these may be some of the oldest bees foraging. I don't know why, but uh, for some reason they will not uh, move to the new hive. Well, folks, it's been six days and I'm going to have to say this is probably a 98% effective hive move. And could I do it again? I don't know. Uh, there's so many variables I added to this that might have helped. Uh, first of all, I faced the new hive in a southerly direction instead of easterly. Secondly, I moved the entrance over six inches to confuse the bees. And then I put a blockage in front of the entrance when I opened it to kind of have them uh, redirect as they fly out. They were also in the hive uh, for 24 hours before I opened it. And then when I opened it, uh, they had to stay because it was nighttime and then rain another probably 14 hours before they could get out. The next thing is uh, it started to get a little cool. Uh, nights were down in the th uh, low 30s. In the daytime, temperatures were low 50s. And finally, I installed uh, the new hive here with the fence around it. And I'm wondering if that might have made a difference as they fly out and have to contend with the new fence in front of them. So all these things might have helped in some sort of way to uh, make this move a little easier for them. And I still have about 50 bees down at the uh, other location. Uh, like I said, uh, I guess they're just gonna stay there because they will not come up here. I also wondered, uh, as the first day they were out flying around, the way they were really traveling around in the air, I do not know if uh, bees would uh, put out a scent for the foragers to help them get back to the hive since it's moved. Uh, it makes you kind of wonder what caused the, the rest of the bees that were at the first uh, place where they were at to move up here that evening. Something had to draw them. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I will tell you this, it can be done. Uh, I hope you, if you give it a try, you have uh, good fortune with it also. Thanks again for watching.